Welcome. Today we will be reviewing how to reset your Active Directory password using ShareWell Service Management. The topics we will be covering today include how we set up our secret question, how we reset our Active Directory password. Resetting your password is a batch process. You will receive a notification if your password has been successfully or unsuccessfully reset. An email notification will be sent to your primary and alternate email address. How we track each password reset as a service request in ShareWell. And finally, we will look at an example of a dashboard to track the number of password resets. Setting up your password reset question. This should be completed as soon as you are provided a ShareWell account. If it is not completed, you will need to call the service desk to have your password reset. First, we need to access the self-service portal to sign in by clicking on the sign in link above. Next, enter your Active Directory user ID and password and click on sign in. After your user ID has been authenticated against Active Directory, we want to edit our user profile by clicking on our name and user information. To add a secret question, click on Edit. You'll see four sections, contact information, additional information, social media, and password reset option. Information on this screen is populated from your customer record. Additional information can be added or changed based on what your administrator has allowed you to change. There are three validation types that can be used to reset your password. Secret question, SMS, and secret question along with SMS. When setting up your password reset validation type, you may want to select one of the types for your organization. In this video, we will be using a secret question and SMS to validate our password reset. Click on the secret question drop down to select a question or enter your question. Let's enter, enter your own question. Highlight those words and then enter your question. We are going to enter what is the name of the fly. The name of the fly is Fred, so we type Fred. For SMS to work correctly, your mobile number must be part of your customer record and listed above. You will also need to select your mobile carrier. This is needed to properly format how the SMS is sent. To save the information, click on Save. If you have set up your password reset question correctly, you will see a green checkbox displayed and the message your password reset options are configured. Now that your password reset options have been configured, sign out of ShareWell and close your browser. In the next section, we will look at how to reset your password. In this section, we will review how to reset your password. At Flycast Partners, we use Active Directory to authenticate user IDs for ShareWell. There are many software solutions on the market that allow a company to reset Active Directory passwords. These solutions are priced by user or by site. Using ShareWell self-service to reset your Active Directory password is free since there's no charge to access ShareWell self-service to update your own records. Think of the time and cost savings your company can achieve by using this solution. Once the home landing page is displayed, click on Reset Password. The first step is to enter your primary email address. This is how ShareWell locates your record in the customer database. Once ShareWell finds your customer record, it will display the fields that need to be completed to reset your password. The next step is to answer your secret question. What is the name of the fly? If you remember from the last section, the answer is Fred. After you enter the answer to the secret question, click on the Send Code button. This will 
send a SMS or text message with a five character code to your mobile phone that's listed in your customer record. As the message states, it may take a few minutes to receive the SMS or text message, so please be patient. Once you receive the five character code on your mobile phone, enter it into the verification code box and press the tab key to enter your new password and then confirm it. There are requirements for the format of your new password. It must contain eight or more characters. It must contain an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number or symbol, and no spaces. So let me enter a password here. And my first error shows this is too short. Let me enter another password. This is showing this is a weak password. This example is of a medium password reset. And a strong password reset. Now I need to enter my confirmation. And you notice I didn't type it correctly. So let me clear out this field and try to type it correctly. Now that I've entered my password successfully and confirmed it, I'm going to click on the Submit Password Reset button. This completes the password reset process and it brings me to a web page that allows me to sign into my portal. Since the password reset process is performed in the background, we must rely on receiving an email from Sharewell letting us know if our password reset was completed successfully or unsuccessfully. This is covered in the next section. Let's take a look at our email to see if our password reset was successful or not. For this video we're using Gmail as our email provider so let's open up a browser and sign in to email. Emails are sent to your primary and alternate email address. Let's take a look at our primary email box and we'll notice we've received an email stating our password reset was successful. We can open the email and read the details. If we look at our alternate email box, we have the same email stating that our password reset was successful. Now let's take a look at an unsuccessful password reset. Once again, we open up our email client and sign in. You'll notice we have an email that says Password reset failed. We can open up this email and look at the details. Again, now let's look at our alternate email box and we receive the same email message. We can also open up the email and read the details. In the next section, we will review how Sharewell logs a successful and unsuccessful password reset. In this section, we will review how Sharewell logs a service request for each password reset. Our first example is a successful password reset. Sharewell logs the requester of the password reset, the IT person that owns the request, the short description that states the password reset was successful, the description that states this is a password reset, and the classification. In our second example, we will look at an unsuccessful password reset. The only difference from our previous example is the short description stating the password reset was unsuccessful and the classification. The subcategory assigned is password reset unsuccessful. The reason for the separate subcategory is the ability to report against it. In our next section, we will review a password reset dashboard.
In this section, we will review a password reset dashboard. Our goal is to move 90% of all password resets to the self-service portal. The dashboard and related widgets allow us to track our progress to achieve that goal. The dashboard shows a summary by object in the left panel. Let's now focus on the widgets in the center of the dashboard under Password Reset Self-Service option. We are comparing today versus yesterday, this week versus last month, this month versus last year, and this year versus last year. We do the same for password resets done by the service desk and also password resets using self-service. The graph on the far right allows us to compare on a monthly basis the number of password resets performed by the service desk and performed on the self-service portal. The blue line represents the service desk and the orange line represents self-service. You will notice that both lines are moving in the direction that we want them to. Month after month we are seeing an increase in the number of password resets being performed on ShareWell. You will notice we had an uptick in the number of password resets using both self-service and the service desk. By having these metrics available, we were able to determine the issue was the extended end of year holiday and a lot of employees seem to forget their passwords. This dashboard is an example of what you can track and report on using ShareWell. Thank you for viewing this video, and if you have any questions, please contact us at 1-844-SLYCAST or visit our website at www flycastpartners.com. Again, thank you for viewing the video and have a great day.